So moving on to vertical up. This guy is our T-joint. Uh, I ran a bead below it. I'm going to go over it. Uh, I guess you could say as a root pass on it. But I'm going to do a cover pass over it. Um, I really like to, when I go vertical up, I like to um, either do a V motion or I just like to weave. So I'll hold on one end, go across quick in the middle, hold on the other, go across quick in the middle, hold on the other, and so on and so forth. So starting to weld, um, I'm going to sit down on this guy on the table. Uh, just to help myself stay balanced and I'm going to lean into my piece and we're just going to slowly work our way up. So you could see here I am going across the middle quickly, but I'm holding longer on my edges. So why I do that is because if you go slow across the middle, it builds up your puddle too much in the middle and it makes it more of a puffy weld. Uh, so if you go across the middle quick and hold on your edges a little bit longer, it, keeps, it makes your weld a lot uh, more flat and it turns out really nice at the end. So. Also holding on your corners really helps with undercut. If you hold long enough, you won't get any undercut of any sort. So that's what I'm doing here.